Today I'm going to show you how to teach your dog impulse control around a favorite toy. Wait. Good girl. That's it. You can see there. She wanted that toy so much. She was jumping up on me. Each time I turned my back on her, she was coming around, but I wouldn't give it to her. And what I wanted her to do was to work out for herself how she was going to get the toy. And the way she worked it out was exactly what I wanted. You have to sit or stand or just have some kind of self-control and be still before you get the toy. If I want to get the toy back, I do this. <gasps> Good girl, drop it. I trade for a treat. Then again, she's got to have impulse control before she gets it again. Let's see if she's learned. Good girl, go get it. That was great. I held that stillness just a little bit longer. For her, it was even harder for her to hold her stillness, but she did it and then she got the game. This is especially important for dogs that have high energy because it really teaches them to have a little bit more self-control around the things they really want. If you don't, your dog could end up becoming jumpy, grabby, having bad manners around the toys and the objects and the food and the things that he really wants. So that's why I teach valuable impulse control to all dogs, whether they're small puppies or older dogs so that they learn to have a little bit of respect of my space, but also that if they do what I want them to do, they get the ultimate reward. I'm Victoria Stilwell for eHow Pets.